Hey guys, welcome to Off Grid Minis. So, this week we finally have that castigator, the guy with the crossbow, and he's holding his helmet in his arm. But before we get to the tools and paints I'm going to be using this week, I want to talk a little bit about Extra Life. So, every year, it runs throughout the year, um, there's a charity. Um, the first weekend of November, they there's a charity stream. There's hundreds of streamers all over the world that participate. And 100% of the proceeds go to the hospital of that person's choosing. So um, all proceeds of my stream will be going towards uh, BC Children's Hospital. I don't make a cent off this. It's just something I do every year. It's pretty important to me. Um, you just you got to keep those future generations going and healthy. Um, but yeah, so the first weekend of November, I will be doing a 24-hour stream. Um, most likely, I'll be painting for most of it. I might have a couple games on my Xbox to play. Um, if I have enough minis painted up for uh, two armies, we may have a battle with that, and I'll have some other card and board games to play during the time as well. Um, and you don't have to donate on stream day. I will put a link down in the description and if I can I'll put a link right up here an annotation. But I'll see if I can figure that out. Um, but yeah basically Every year there's a 24 hour stream. Um, again, you don't have to donate on stream day. You can donate before or after, right up until the end of the year, December 31st. Um, you will get a receipt for it and everything. So yeah, it's just an awesome cause. It's real simple to donate. It's simple to do. Um, so yeah. It's just a really awesome charity. Every year they also have a big gathering of all the streamers. Um, I believe it's down in Florida. I might be wrong in, on that. Um, but yeah, just check it out. Search up Extra Life. It's really reputable. 100% of the proceeds, again, go to the hospitals of their choosing. Um, Rooster Teeth or Achievement Hunter do a big stream every year. They usually do it the week after the main weekend, so they let the general streamers have their day, and then they'll do a big one uh, the weekend after. But yeah, if even if you don't have anything to donate, that's all right. Just come hang out, come chat. I have a couple of buddies there. We'll be gaming, painting. And yeah, it should just be a lot of fun. So I hope to see you guys there. But now for the tools for this week. Of course, I got my mini, the little castigator there. I got my brushes, my main ones I'm going to be using. My two layer brushes, they're very fine. I use them for edge highlights and little details. Uh, these two are not from the Citadel. They, I just picked them up at Staples when I started. And I'll be using them for doing base coats like the Retributor Armor for the gold areas and Cantor Blue for the back of his cape or cloak. Then I have my, uh, yes it's this one, medium base brush. Uh, that's for basing smaller areas like on his crossbow and his face and items like that. And the two starter brushes which I'll be using for the same as the medium base, just for even smaller details than that. Then, of course, I have my makeshift palettes. Um, as you can see, I have many different colors on them, so that's why I have multiple different ones, just so the colors don't mix. And my pot of water for cleaning the brush, as well as my cloth. And just water for mixing with the paint on the palette. And lastly, I have my paints. So I have Retributor Armor, that's going to be going for the gold areas. 
Um, so this is sort of what he's going to look like. I won't be able to copy it exactly, but I'll do what I can, sorry, and see what I can find out, or figure out. Uh, oops, luckily I have multiple parts of that one. This is the Celestra Gray. It's going just on the base, so like the cobblestones around his feet. Uh, log Flesh is just for the leaves on the base. Uh, Bugman's Glow is going to be the undercoat for his face um, to start that skin tone. Then I have Cantor Blue, again that's for the back of his cloak. Um, and certain details on his armor, like the middle of his shoulder guards. Then I have Mephiston Red, that's just for the mane on his helmet. Um, you probably can't see it right now, you won't get very much detail with this camera, but it's right in his arm to the side there. Uh, Rhinox Hide, I'm going to be using just on the book uh, on the ground, and possibly a, pouch, a couple of the pouches on his waistband, although I may use Mornfang Brown on that instead. Uh, Korax White, I'm going to be using on the lightning features on his armor. Um, Lead Belcher, I'm going to be using on his crossbow gun. Um, there's certain details that are silver, and then the recessed areas are black, so I will be using Abaddon Black for those recessed areas. And again, the lead belcher for the details. Then Rackarth Flesh is going to be the inside of his cloak and the front, his front tabard. And then I may, I already mentioned I may use Mornfang Brown for the pouches on his side. I don't have that up here. I had just forgotten if I had mentioned it or not, but yes, I had. Then for shades, I have Reikland Flesh Shade. It's going over the golden areas of his armor. Then Non Oil will be going over the Celestra Gray, as well as Seraphim Sapia on the base. It will also be going over the black areas on his crossbow and the silver areas. And I will probably also use it on the book binding on the base. And then Drakenhof Nightshade I will be using on the blue areas of his armor and the back of his cloak. Then for my layers I have Kislip Flesh that goes over the Bugman's Glow on his face and then I will use Raikland Flesh Shade over that and that gives it more of a flesh tone. And then I have um, Administratum Gray. It's going on highlights on the base. As well, uh, where else did I want that? His hair. I will be using the Administratum Gray on his hair and then White Scar on the highlights to give him a white gray hair, make him look old as they do in this picture, or in their model. And then Wild Rider Red is just for the highlights on his, the mane on his helmet, as well as the crystal in his crossbow bolt, the exploding impact head. Lastly, I have Necron Compound for the silver areas and as well as some of the gold areas, the highlights on them. And then Thunderhawk Blue, just for uh, the blue of the back of his cloak. And of course the armor areas. So that's it for paint. Um, one other thing I forgot to mention for Extra Life, I will be painting up some of these models, most likely 
I'll be rolling for them, or if there's enough of you guys in the chat, I will let you guys decide which one I do next. But I will also have a couple of these D&D miniatures. These are halfling rogues, so very tiny, fair amount of detail. They should be fun. And then I have this Death Guard Mephitic Blight Hauler. So that should be fairly fun to paint up and build for you guys. And I'll probably set that so I don't paint it or build it until I reach a certain goal in my fundraising. So until I raise a certain amount, I won't bring that guy out and paint him. But we'll still have lots of other minis to paint up, and if I don't end up reaching that goal, I will throw that guy into the pot, and we'll have just an ordinary, or not ordinary, but another build and paint video with him. So, that's it. That's all I'm going to be using for this week. I've told you about Extra Life, so I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get to painting.
it for this week we got an awesome little guy here I'll be proud to use him in any of my battles um, uh, the white scar I noticed is coming out a little rough I'm not sure if it's just the way I'm the technique I'm using to put it on the brush I'm using I'll figure it out in the future and get work on that a little bit but other than the white areas um, on his cloak and tabard or yeah you understand but other than those areas it turned out awesome um, this is by far one of the best models I've done so far he's at least on par with the shaman who I get the most compliments on definitely um, but also my longest paint so far. I spent several hours just sitting there and it reflects in the length of the video which I'm sorry about but to get these kind of details you do have to put the work in and there were just a few areas that I kept having to touch up but it turned out awesomely and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry again it was a long one but the results are definitely worth it. Um, and again, be sure to check out Extra Life. The stream for that is in two and a half weeks now. So it'll be Saturday, November, I believe it's 2nd to Sunday, November 3rd. I'll be going for 24 hours. I'll be starting at some point Saturday morning and ending at the same point or an hour earlier Sunday morning, because it is, I believe, time change that night. But yeah, just be sure to check out Extra Life. I'll put the link in the descrip description again. And there was the annotation probably at the beginning of the video. If not, I'll put it right here. Um, but yeah, it's just an awesome cause. It's a great community of gamers and streamers alike. Um, they all get together once a year. Um, there's the stream day every November. It's just a huge charity organization. It's not for profit. 100% um, of the proceeds go to um, Children's Miracle Network hospitals. Um, mine is BC Children's Hospital. Rooster Teeth goes to the Austin um, Children's Hospital there they're down in Texas but yeah that's basically all there is to it we're playing games to heal kids or in this case painting and building miniatures to heal kids but other than that it's time to roll for next week's model that we're going to be painting up so usually I'm rolling by hand 
but I decided to dig out my behemoth. This is a dice tower I made almost a year ago now. Um, never really got to use it, but it's just been in storage degrading, so I figured I'd use it now for my video to decide which one I do next. Um, I could buy a dice tower. Um, when I made this one, I just didn't have the funds at the moment, and none of the local shops around carried them. So, I just did the best I could with what I had. We got 13 and 2, so number 15. Grab my dice out of there. And let's see if we can find this guy. I was looking at him earlier this week. Ah, 15. So we got another castigator. This guy's not the prime. He got his helmet on. So that shouldn't take as long. I don't have to do the dual layer on the face. Um, yeah, so this will give me a chance to figure out that white scar, see what I'm doing wrong. And yeah, it should hopefully be a little bit quicker. No promises again. Um, I'll have it a little more figured out that next time and yeah there's not quite so many small t details there are some but not as many like I don't have the face to do like I did on this guy it's just his helmet so straight gold I don't have to worry about doing the bugman's glow and then the kiss of flesh over top of that without staining anything else so I hope you guys have enjoyed. Be sure to check out Extra Life and be sure to tune in the first weekend of November for my 24 hour stream. Even if you can't donate, that's fine. Just come hang out, we'll chat, play some games. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, stay classy. See you.